Coming up for all you food rangers, we're going deep into the local markets of Kolkata for breakfast and finding some incredible street food specialties. And then we got incredibly lucky to get invited from our friend Aditya to a huge family lunch feast. So make sure to watch until the end, because you're not gonna wanna miss these. Check it out guys, it's Trevor James. We are in Kolkata, India, and today we are going for a full-on street food tour and we're gonna get a local home-cooked meal. I am really excited and we are in a classic yellow cab here in Calcutta. It's gonna be a great day. We're on our way to get some nice breakfast. This is the fun of India, exploring for food wherever you go. And it doesn't matter where, there will always be something new to try around every corner. And before having an amazingly flavorful lunch at our friend Aditya's house with his family, we hit the street for some breakfast in Kolkata and found ourselves deep in the back alleyways with tons of street food, chai, and a bustling atmosphere like no other. India truly is a street food heaven. We are in the Bara Bazaar area and we're looking for some food to start the day before our big homemade lunch coming up. Should be good. And this area is just packed with people working. There's street food everywhere. We're gonna find something tasty. Look at this, chai. Look what we found here, guys. Fresh chai tea. This is the best way to start any day in India for me. You get a nice, chai in the morning, spiced, frothy, creamy, it is so good. Thank you, beautiful, in a clay cup, <laughs> looks good. Look at this guys, we just got a chai to start the day, masala tea, and it's busy right in the morning. Oh it's good, it's sweet, sweet yeah. Mmm, it's good. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> wow, it's busy here. And this is just what you gotta do to start your day here in Calcutta. Be before you hit the streets, you grab a chai. Very good. Hmm? just like the hero. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah. I'm comfortable. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> After waking up with a hot spiced chai, we walked around the corner and found an amazing sweet shop and a walk full of fried gram flour. A beautiful find. Looks like we found a little sweet shop here. Oh, lots of sweets. Beautiful. All types. Oh, Gujarat. Gujarati dishes. Oh, beautiful. And right over here, look at this. There is a massive wok, a pot of boiling delight. What is this called? What is, what is this called, the name? The name of the Gatia, it's called Gatia. Gatia. It's a Gujarati dish. Gujarati dish? It's a Gujarati dish. Wow. And it is made with ground flour? Yeah. Uh, ground flour, ground nut. Ground, ground nut. nut. Ground nut. Pine oil. Oh, pine oil. Oh, nice. We're gonna have to try one of these. Look at this. So we just found gram flour stuffed with fennel and cumin and they are frying it in the oil here. We're gonna have to try that out. Oh, look at this. We can try it. Thank you. Gatia. Gatia. Awesome. Stuffed with fennel and cumin. And they're just, they're just spreading it out there. Thank you. So we just found this awesome sweet shop. They have tons of Indian sweets. They've got it all here. Lots of stuff with edible silver on it and we just ordered up because we saw them making it in the back there. This is that fried gram flour and pickled papaya and chili. Let's try that out. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Thank you. Oh wow. Oh, you can really taste that fennel, the fennel seeds, and that papaya. It's very fresh. It's actually not, not too sour. It just has a nice freshness to it. And that gram flour, oh, it feels like an upgraded whole wheat flour. It feels like 
extra healthy. And we are just so deep in the Barra Bazaar market. This is just one of so many amazing sweet shops. And you can see it is just full of action and life. We're gonna go see what else we can get. Thank you. After a quick walk through Barra Bazaar, we found a classic South Indian street food joint, serving up some masala dosas, kind of like a French crepe or a Chinese jianbing, loaded with spiced mashed potatoes and served with savory rice cakes and vada fritters in a nice spiced tomato sauce. This is true heaven. Hi. Oh. Yeah, kya hai? Vada. 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 Oh, vada with uh, sambar. sambar. Oh, and dosa. Awesome. Well, we're gonna have to get a dosa to start the, the day off. Ek masala dosa and ek vada. Awesome. We're getting a masala dosa, which is like a, oh, it's like a crepe stuffed with potato mash, masala spices, cheese, tomato, peas, and chili, and a lot, a lot of spice in there. That looks beautiful. We just got the masala dosa, which is like a crepe stuffed with masala potatoes and they give you a coconut chutney and it looks like a vegetable gravy as well. And then we have a vada, which is like a legumes donut almost. They take the legumes and they make it with water and it turns into a, into a fried donut and it's topped with that same vegetable soup and that white stuff I believe is a coconut chutney. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that dosa. It's just stuffed. Wow. It's just stuffed with ingredients. Stuffed with that potato masala, onions, fennel. It looks so beautiful. And then you can actually, I'm just gonna, since I only have one hand, I'm just gonna pour that coconut chutney over top. Oh. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. To me, it doesn't matter where you are in India. You can always get a beautiful masala dosa. And I can taste, I can actually taste those curry leaves in there. Oh, it's actually quite peppery as well. And that coconut chutney, I think is actually a little sour. There is something nice and sour in there. What a great start to the day. Nice South Indian breakfast. We're gonna make our way out of this Barra Bazaar area and go meet my buddy Aditya who has invited us for a home-cooked Kalkatan lunch. Should be really good. Hey buddy. Hi. Aditya, thanks for inviting us. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have a home-cooked meal. Yeah. Should be good. Yeah. Bengali style. No, it will be a mix of everything. A mix of everything? Yeah. Awesome. Should be good. So we're just gonna get a taxi and make our way to your place, right? Yeah. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah, so we are going to my home for a home cooked dinner. Let's check it out. Alright, let's check it out. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, what are we? Should I? Oh. Thank you. This is our Indian Oh, great. What are we? This is called Tilak. Tilak. Very nice. So look, so this is curds. white rice. Yeah, that is rice. Oh, unbroken rice. Unbroken rice. <laughs> because it means that your life is unbrokeable. Oh, very nice. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thanks. Myself is Shreya. 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 Yes. Nice to meet both of you. Shikha. Shikha. Yeah, I'm nice from Shreya and the sisters. All from S. Smitha, Shreya, yeah, Shikha. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Awesome, we're gonna go take a look at the kitchen here. Nice. Wow, what's here? See, this is, this is prawn in malai curry. Prawn in malai curry? Yes, prawn in malai curry. Oh, so prawn and malai curry, it looks quite creamy. Yeah, yeah it's creamy. very creamy because cream, yeah, milk, spice. that is the <laughs> ingredients. Green chili. Green chili, garam masala, green chili. bay leaves. Yeah, bay leaves. Oh, that looks beautiful. 
What's this? Chicken achari, leg pieces in spices. Oh, that smells amazing. Yes. With, with, cu curd. with curd. Chicken. Yeah, marinated in curd. Oh, you can, I think I smell some cinnamon in there. Yes, cinnamon, dalcini, uh, long elaichi. Oh, wow. That smells so good. After chatting a bit more in the kitchen, Aditya's generous family started bringing out all the dishes to the table. True delicacies that you can relish the flavor of on each bite. We were truly lucky to have this incredible experience, not only through delicious food, but to meet such great people on our trip. This just looks amazing. Thank you. So much food. There's so much here, it looks amazing. What, what do we have here today? This is luchi. This is luchi? Yes, luchi. Fried dough ball, we have it with the gravy, we have it with the sabzi. It is like a company. Oh, it looks beautiful and it looks like it's, is it stuffed with fennel seeds? Yeah, it is uh, stuffed with jeera. And jeera. Jeera. Amazing. What, wow, what else do we have here? This is chingri malai curry. It is shrimp in cream. Oh, shrimp in cream. It looks so fragrant. Yeah, it has a rich aroma of the bay leaves, cinnamon. Oh, wow, bay leaves and cinnamon. Yeah, you can see all the spices in there. Now, this is just plain rice with kaju. Oh, look at that. Yeah, plain rice with ghee and yeah, so, in ghee. Plain so, rice and ghee. So this is plain rice, basmati rice in ghee, ghee. and bay leaves. Yes, bay leaves oh. and kaju. Wow. This is the salad which we have here. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. This is, I'm overwhelmed. So many curries. We have so many curries here too. This is mutton kasa. Mutton, mutton kasa. kasa. Mutton is prepared like uh, keeping it on flame for three to four hours. Three wow. hours, minimum three hours. Three hours and it looks like yes. it's packed with, I think it looks like cinnamon in there. Uh, yes, yeah, cinnamon, bay leaves, uh, other spices. This is like a once in a lifetime experience for me. <laughs> and for us, of course, for us. <laughs> Chicken achari. Chicken was marinated in dahi, curd, yeah, and then it was prepared in spices. Oh. This is the traditional sevai, sevai, vermicelli. Vermicelli in a... Milk. Vermicelli in a condensed milk. Yes, yes. And, and that one is moon kahu. Rajasthani moon kahu. Rajasthani dessert. Yeah. This is potato. Yeah. Alu dum. Alu dum. Alu dum. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Tomato, coriander, onion, gravy. Dal gandu. Udi gandu. Kunto belli. Oh, lentil, lentil curry. Lentil curry. These flavors were insanely delicious, starting with the amazing potato dum. But the real joy was in the flavor we were about to experience with the upcoming chicken. There were just so many amazing flavors here on the table. And that's what's amazing about these feasts. You can taste dish after dish of joy. Oh, look at that gravy. Oh, that is so thick. This is like my dream. I think I've had this in a dream before. It just looks so good. <laughs> This is what dreams are made of right here. Yeah. Delicious food. <laughs> oh, the chicken achar. Chicken. chicken achar. I can just eat it like this? Yes. Oh. You hold it. Look at that. Okay. 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 Yeah. Mmm. Oh. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you. My sister is a good that is so good. Oh, you can taste the cinnamon. Yeah. Is there star anise in there? Yes, all the spices. Cinnamon. So many spices. Yeah, yes. Spices of hospitality in India. Oh, you that's... have so many spices. Yeah. <laughs> the main taste is of the dahi, the curd. The curd. It was marinated in. Oh, marinated in curd. It's juicy. Yes. It's so juicy. Yes. And that cinnamon is just... That cinnamon. Mm. There's so many spices in there. You can taste it. It's marinated in that curd. That was unbelievable. That was unbelievable chicken. It's like a rich cinnamon, star anise, cardamom, gravy. And you can just dip your puri in there and it is pure heaven. So nice. We're gonna try the shrimp curry on the puri. Oh. <laughs> Incredible. That one looks quite creamy. Yeah, it's creamy. It's malai means cream. Malai means cream, okay. Malai. Malai chingdi means curry. It means prawn in cream. Prawn and cream. Mmm. 
I have never tasted flavors like these before. <laughs> Incredible food. It's so creamy. It's like a creamy, milky, slightly spicy, juicy shrimp. Oh, so this is the mutton curry, yeah. right? Oh wow, this is too nice. This is just too nice. That gravy looks to die for. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Look at that. That just looks to die for. Over top of the, the ghee rice with the bay leaves. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Eating here with Aditya and his family made me realize just how amazingly friendly people are in India. And after getting full on delicious food and amazing desserts packed with spices, sugar, and cardamom, we went back to rest at our hotel, absolutely stuffed from delicious food. Thank you so much, Aditya, for having us over. That was just once in a lifetime experience. You're welcome. It was just amazing. And make sure you leave a comment for us. Let us know what you thought about this video and click that subscribe button as well. Make sure to click that subscribe button and check out our Thai Howla merch, AKA the amazing merch. If you want to help support this channel, you can check out my buddy Aditya's Instagram as well in the description below. Thank you so much for watching.